Hello everybody, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening depending on where you are in this amazing world. My name is Donovan Jolly, and welcome everybody once again for another amazing video of DIY Investing. For today's video, I wanted to give you guys some of my best gems for DeFi picks over the next couple months. DeFi as a whole is holding up exceptionally well in comparison with the rest of the market as Bitcoin and Ethereum begin to decline. I wanted to give you guys my top picks for some of the best performing cryptos inside of the DeFi space that have some of the best infrastructure, the most money put behind these, and have some of the biggest potential for profit returns to make life-changing opportunities. I can assure you guys that these are some of the best projects in the space, and if you guys look into these, you're going to be very impressed yourselves. So let's jump right into it so I can give you guys some great opportunities of making some money. If you're new and just finding this channel, always remember to do me a favor by leaving a like, comment, and subscribing to this channel for more updates. Always remember to click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos like the one provided for you here. And make sure you guys sign up and join the Discord server of over 20,000 members and growing. Links are provided for you in the description if you guys want to go ahead and do that. On top of all of that, if you're a new guy just getting into these markets and you want to make sure that you're making better decisions with your money, investing the right ways, links are provided for you in the description to go ahead and actually download my ebook. It's free, not going to cost you anything, but I know it's going to help you guys out tremendously. So go check it out. Links are provided for you in the description. And with all that being said, guys, let's jump right into this amazing video today. Alrighty guys, for today's video, I want to talk mainly just about DeFi as a whole because right now what we're seeing inside of the market is as many of the other coins, the high cap specifically, have been downtrending like Bitcoin, like Ethereum, some of these other ones. In this sell-off, we've actually seen DeFi as a whole hold up very strong. They've been breaking out. They've been making higher highs. When the rest of the market shows weakness, they show strength. And I do believe that DeFi and most DeFi protocols are setting up to outperform Ethereum, which is overall the most important thing that we can do if we're looking to make the most money for ourselves, holding coins that out holding coins that outperform ethereum is going to be the smartest thing that we can do otherwise we'd rather just hold ethereum in the first place and so i believe that most of these DeFi coins are actually about to outperform ethereum and so for today's video we're going to be going through all seven of these different coins i'm going to be sharing with you guys why i think they're going to be going up where i think they're going to be going up to and how we can actually go about making a decent amount of money off of these now first things first let's look at the DeFi index so that we can look at what the conglomerate is doing as a whole so one of the things I wanted to point out here, uh, I'm actually going to take this away, but we can see a lot of increasing buy volume that's stepping in here. Very good signs of bullish price action. And I mean, it's not hard to see that this is an uptrend. And we were just here grinding on this trend line. We're making higher highs and higher lows. We just flipped this previous resistance as support. And now we're getting continuation from that and about to go into price discovery. And so based off of this type of consolidation and where we're at right now, notice how um, we were a little bit below. Notice how we were a little bit above this trend line. Then we hit it and then we make a higher high, hit it again. And now we're really not even hitting it again. Now in the same way how this is the beginning of a sell-off before we ultimately come and retest a trend line, this move here is pretty much the inverse of that. This is where the market leaves the trend line is a, and is about to go parabolic. And so we're about to see the same type of price action where we do make one big upswing. And I do believe that DeFi as a whole is going to see a lot more market share come into it as we start to see many of these DeFi protocols take off. And so this leads me to the next point of the video, which is my favorite coins in which I think are going to be setting up for the best gains moving forward. So first one on the list today is the most obvious choice ever, and that is Chainlink, because DeFi would not exist if Chainlink wasn't here. And I think a lot of people underestimate Chainlink. I think a lot of people overthink. And I think a lot of it's it's kind of funny to look at the market right now and we're seeing DeFi protocols you know fairly close to the same market cap as Chainlink right now and what we're seeing here is these coins that are gaining a lot of exposure and a lot of adoption mainly just because of the fact Chainlink exists if it wasn't for oracles specifically Chainlink DeFi would not be a thing these DeFi protocols would not have billions of dollars locked up inside of them and their market caps wouldn't be nearly the same size as Chainlink and it's because there's a lot of hype and a lot of new infrastructure that came into the market because of what Chainlink did now because of this a lot of people have over thought uh, Chainlink as a whole. They're thinking past it. They're looking at the new coins that are popping off. They're getting excited about those. And I believe that Chainlink is about to experience one of the biggest life-changing opportunities we've ever seen inside of crypto. And the chart reflects that. Just steady increase
increasing on a parabolic trend that we've never seen a major, major impulse that I believe we are about to expect to see right now. And the next one that we're going to see is going to be taking us past $100. We're going to be seeing some insane price expansion that most people are just simply overlooking right now. And because of the fact that DeFi does not exist without Chainlink, it's so deeply hearted in everything to do with DeFi as a whole. Most people are just set most people are just simply overlooking the amount of partnerships. People are overlooking the amount of people that are adopting Chainlink because they have to adopt Chainlink, guys. It's something that is literally deep-rooted inside of this entire economy, just the same way that Bitcoin was, just the same way that Ethereum is, the same way that Chainlink will be in this cycle. So don't forget about it. Keep this one on your watch list because the next move that we're about to see is going to be a big one. The dips are already getting bought up. I expect that this is going to play out over the next couple weeks and continue to have happen. So watch out for Chainlink. Next up on the list is going to be Polkadot. Polkadot is a coin that I got into pretty early on, and I'm really happy about that. Now, I actually bought Polkadot before it released on exchanges in the IOU. So I don't, I guess this listed at about a dollar and 40 cents approximately. I don't know because I bought it when Polkadot was actually worth $180. And like I said, it was in the IOU. And so when I bought it, you know, I was holding it and then they ultimately gave me the new converted version of Polkadot. And so I bought it really, really early and I've actually made a ton of money off of Polkadot thus far. And I've been really bullish on Polkadot because I know that this is going to be a big leader inside of this market cycle. And it's held up very strongly. I really like the, se the setup that we're currently seeing here. To me, it looks similar to, you know, some type of a bull flag structure where we're just consolidating within this range. And I do believe that we're going to be experiencing a breakout very soon from this. And this is just as a whole across the market. You know, this chart looks a lot like DeFi. This chart is a big leader of a lot of new value that's coming into the market. I don't see why DOT can't have a very similar market cap towards Ethereum. And I think it makes sense because of what the Polkadot is actually accomplishing. Now that we have parachains that are releasing, now that we have all of this new stuff, I do expect that we're going to see a lot of people step into buying Polkadot. And that's why we're going to see the price rally up you know guys a hundred dollars really isn't that far off hundred dollars is going to be about right here and so i do think that we're going to be seeing a hundred dollar per polka dot very very soon probably in the next impulse would be my guess you know this is still very early stuff we haven't seen a whole lot of growth thus far i do think we're about to start seeing some major expansion and so if you haven't got polka dot already i don't think it hurts buying some now yeah the market cap's pretty high so i don't blame you if you don't but that was kind of why I bought it early on is because I did know that it was going to be a, a you know, multi-billion dollar project. And so at this point, you know, I still think getting exposure to it is a smart decision. A $40 polka dot is still relatively undervalued in the grand scheme of things. So I think you guys should watch out for this one. Next up on the list is another ecosystem. And this is actually one that I don't see a lot of people talking about. And that's Cosmos. Cosmos actually has a lot of people building on it. And I do believe that it's sitting at about a $4.5 billion market cap. And that's pretty undervalued in the grand scheme of how much money I think can actually flood into this market. And really guys, the chart setup looks solid. We just broke out of our accumulation. This entire period of time was us just going sideways, accumulating, not really doing a whole lot. And now we've pretty much just started our impulses here. This is the breakout move. We've been consolidating here throughout this period. I do believe that this is just a steepening parabolic curve. We might continue to consolidate for a little while, but regardless, I do think that we're going to continue to break out with the rest of the market. If you guys notice, most of these cryptos look about the same. Yes, they have different price action, but more often than not, they're going to rhyme in a lot of similarities. You're going to find other charts that look very similar to, you know, whatever the one you're looking at right now, in this case, Cosmos. In this case, all of the coins we've talked about look very similar. I do think that we're getting ready for ultimately the next big parabolic leap in the cycle because a lot of the cryptos look like they've just broken out most of the cryptos haven't done a whole lot some of them have done more than others but i still think there's going to be plenty more money to come into this and cosmos is really one of those that i think is more undervalued it being an ecosystem where a lot of other projects can build upon i think you guys should definitely have this one on your radar because i think it's going to be having some very big price expansion moving forward from here next up on the list is a project i am really excited about because i had the opportunity of getting in you know not the earliest as i would have liked but i got in early enough because i was smart enough to spot an early trend now, I got in here at about $55 right there. I bought this original pump and the retrace from that pump. 
and I just wanted to get in because I felt like I was missing out. A little bit of FOMO here, but I knew it was a good project, and I felt like we were still undervalued. Now, I'm up about 10x approximately, a little over, but regardless, guys, I still think Ave is going to be uh, probably around 2000 to potentially even $3,000 per. I would not even be surprised to see Ave at about 5 k by the end of this cycle. And I'm going to put it out there because I expect to see a lot of new money flooding into this market. Ave is one where it actually allows us to take out loans. And this is really cool because we're going to see a lot of Deegans play the market, especially when the market gets really bullish. And I think because of that, we're going to see the price of Ave do very well. And so I'm looking for 100x. As you guys notice, I bought it $55. You know, 5k is pretty close to 100x. And so I would love to be able to get that opportunity inside of the price. Who knows what actually happens, guys, but the amount of money that's flowing through these cryptos, Ave doesn't have, you know, a giant market cap as it stands right now. I think it will get much bigger from here. And so even though we are breaking out of the all-time highs, even though we have gone up a lot, when I look at this chart, it just doesn't look like something that's done. In my opinion, this was probably wave one, one, two. This could have been wave three, three, four. And then we could be experiencing wave five or who knows, guys, maybe we're not even done with wave three. Maybe this is one, two, three, four, and we're getting ready for wave three of five. And that would basically put this cycle as one, two. We'd probably go up to about $1,000, pull back in the three wave, maybe come back down to where we're at. And then we would probably see another five wave, you know, that could see, you know, who knows how crazy the five wave could get. We could see this extend three, five K. It's hard to say, guys, because when these markets go parabolic, it's going to get crazy. But I do think this five wave is going to get nuts for a lot of these altcoins with this one being one of those. I'm not going to try and draw perfect Elliott waves, but when I look at this chart, it looks like we're going to have a ton more upside from here. So I would watch out for this one. Now that we're breaking the all-time highs, it's really just price discovery from here. These are the fun ones where you can probably just FOMO buy and make profit regardless. List. And I think this is one of the best fundamental use case coins in all of crypto. So watch out for this one long term. Next up on the list is one that I've talked about a lot on this channel. Really bullish because I got in really early with this. Still think that there's a lot of upside with all of these DeFi protocols because regardless, guys, most of these have just broken out. You know, this has just been steady accumulation on this trend. We got a ton of new volume that stepped into this market on this breakout here. This to me just looks like a bull flag or a little pennant, whatever you want to call it. And I do think we're going to be breaking out and going upwards of 100K very soon. 100K isn't that far off. I personally see this as a crypto that very easily could pull a million dollars per by the end of this cycle. A lot of people are going to think I'm crazy, but a lot of people told me I was crazy when I was calling for a $20,000 Ethereum when we were less than $200 each. This is just the way the markets move, guys. You know, it doesn't make a lot of sense when you're in the short term and you're looking at this really undervalued cycle because we as humans like to deal and look at the perspective of now through hindsight. We're always looking at what has happened prior. So we think about, oh man, well, this amount of money could never come into the market, even though it always does. And this is just the way markets grow. Um, there's new money that is entered into the world. New money enters the economies and new money enters emerging markets, in this case, cryptocurrency, because they solve a significant use case in society. And so we're seeing DeFi as really what we've always thought of crypto manifesting as the ultimate use case of crypto was decentralized finance, right? We always knew that crypto was ultimately going to create decentralization in modern day finance, change the entire infrastructure of our economies today. And that's what we're starting to see right now. And these DeFi protocols guys are at the forefront of this revolution. They're more undervalued than a lot of the high cap cryptos. These are going to be the cryptos that perform the best in this cycle. And I do think that urine finance is going to be one of those that has such a small circulating supply. I don't think you can go wrong holding this. And if we do make one more low, I still think it means that we're just as bullish as before. All of this is just major price expansion on the upside. And with how we're pointing out in the cycle, this is the mania phase. And I think urine being such a small market, urine being such a small circulating supply has a ton of price expansion moving forward. So watch out for this one. Next up on the list is one that I'm pretty excited about. I have actually bought Sushi Swap down here at $2. Um, so I did get in fairly early. I actually recently bought Sushi Up, which is actually just a leverage token of Sushi. And so I'm holding that one. It hasn't really done a whole lot, but I'm expecting it to. Now, I like Sushi setup because of the major fact we basically just broke the all-time high. This is our first cycle. One, two, three, four, five. ABC. And this ABC came perfectly on support of the previous all-time high. 
previous, uh, this is a perfect support and resistance flip. And what we're about to see is a very parabolic move because this is just wave one, guys. Based off of Elliott Wave Theory, this is not the entire one wave. In my opinion, we're probably going to see this hitting $100 um, in this next impulse. And then from there, you know, we still have another five wave to go. And so we could very easily be seeing sushi at about 200 bucks from here. I would love to get 100x on my investment in sushi. To be honest, I think that most of us, if we're buying and holding coins and have been buying and holding coins for the last year or two at this point, we're going to be seeing 100x per, uh, account growth throughout all of our positions. And if you guys go back and look at uh, the prior cycles, if you would have bought any altcoin in the last cycle at their low points or fairly low to their low points, you would have been sitting at an easy 100x sometimes even a thousand x depending on what you bought and i think that that's what we're going to see once again and by hol us holding these DeFi protocols by us holding these cryptos they're going to perform the best in this cycle and these are going to be the ones that do give us that 100x type of portfolio growth which you know a lot of people might think to themselves that it's not possible anymore but i think it is possible 100x uh, account growth where we're at right now is still very doable because i do believe that we just started the mania phase and we're going to see meme coins pump we're going to see real DeFi protocols pump the ones with the best fundamentals like sushi swap like all the ones i've covered thus far and i think that sushi swap has one of the best looking setups major volume coming in here on top of all of that you know sushi is getting some of the best liquidity on matic which is creating a ton of new value for all of crypto i mean we can now swap and it's not going to cost you an arm and a leg to do so and so i think sushi is really going to benefit the most Uniswap is honestly garbage. I've never bought Uniswap. I've only ever accumulated the coins that they gave me for free in the airdrop, which is now worth, you know, sixteen, seventeen thousand dollars and I'm thankful. But regardless, guys, I think Sushi Swap is way more undervalued in every single way. It's actually better than Uniswap in every way. And now that it's gaining a lot of market share from uh, Matic, expect things to go super mooning from here from Sushi. Now, last up on the list today, guys, is going to be Synthetics. Synthetics is one that I'm once again very bullish on. This one's actually pretty undervalued in the grand scheme of things. I mean, we're just barely breaking out of this resistance here, and I still think it's a pretty good buy. I mean, it, as you guys can see, we're right at resistance, peaking above it right now. I don't think it's a bad opportunity to step in here if you haven't bought any of this. Same with all of these DeFi protocols, guys. Most of these are under five million, or most of these are under five billion in market cap. So that's pretty undervalued when you look at the likes of Ethereum, when you look at the likes of you know Binance Coin, Dogecoin, even some of these other coins. I think that these other protocols will be hitting the same types of valuations, which is just huge gains from here. Still, even with it being pretty high in market cap, we can't conceptualize how much billions of dollars is going to come into these markets because we haven't even started the mania. We're going to see multi-trillion dollar market caps, you know. Maybe certain coins will hit a couple trillion. I think if ETH can, because I've always said 20K per ETH, which would be over a trillion of market cap. I've said $28 per XRP, which would put it, I think, in about a trillion of market cap. And that's, you know, a likes of multi coins. I think a lot of them can, because I expect to see 20 to $50 trillion in market cap. So these DeFi protocols that actually create a good use case in the market, I think that these are going to do very, very well. And what we could see next for synthetics is once again, 100 bucks. I don't think that that's unlikely in the slightest. And what we could expect to see, because this type of price action is really just slow growth. This isn't parabolic in the slightest. This is just steady growth. Um, but I do think the next move will see some major price action that we could see $100. So anyways, guys, this is the video I have for you. I just want to talk about DeFi because these are the cryptos doing the best today. You know, we talked about XRP yesterday. XRP is actually doing really good today. But all of DeFi is once again holding up, which tells me these are the markets that are going to see the best growth. You know, these are the ones that are holding up, showing the most strength right now. I wanted to give you guys an all-around analysis on a multitude of different cryptos because these are just some that I've been watching for a while, made some profit, and I think that these are going to do very well over the next couple months. These are safe picks. These are picks that have a ton of money being uh, put into them, a ton of money locked away, a ton of money in general is put around these projects. They've proven themselves, and that's why they're sitting at multi-billion dollar market caps. And so I still think there's going to be a lot more price expansion from here. Just watch, do your own research, look into this stuff, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys want to sign up for my groups, links are in the description to do it. Links are provided for you in the description to go ahead and do all of that. If you guys want to join my Discord server, if you guys want to sign up for my video course or signals, you guys want to join and sign up for my free ebook and download that, all of that is going to be provided for you. If you guys want to join my live training, you guys can put your email inside of that sign up and you're actually going to get an email alert when the time is to actually get access to view that. So thank you guys so much for watching this. And with all that being said, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. As always, peace out.